already loosened some of the screws. I'm going to put a picture up here to show uh, what screw points that you need to take out. This is it. They're a six point star. And like I said, I've already got these loose. So this will be pretty quick and painless for the uh, uh, to come out. threads that are coming out around the body they're more fine so just when you put it back together don't try to force one of these bigger ones into that you screw up your threads your pull cord yeah, my grass just comes right out it's just like on the lawnmower this is your your pulley and it's got teeth teeth guide into that which gives you the the back and forth turns the, turns the cam. Anyway, I'm going to put the three screws that belong directly to this inside of it and just set it off here to the side. We should be able to. Yeah, yeah. This pops right off after that. And pretty clean inside. Set that over there out of the way. Uh, you don't have to pull your uh, air filter off for this. If you do, there's just two screws here in the side. Flathead. It's, it's, you can use your star or your flathead. And then right here is your bubble. And let me see if I... You can see how mine's cracked. Yeah. Now I can still run this. It starts and runs and everything. But that right there, I can't prime it. Luckily, it's a badass blower and it'll start anyway. Then we'll clean up all this crap. We'll take a look at the, we'll pull this off and take a look at that spark arrest. Um, you see where it was cracked. We gotta get this out of here. Over here, Oh, let's see if I can. So we've got a clip here. And then there's a clip that's under here. And you got to get the clip squeezed to get this out. But all I'm going to do now is pull the air cover. Like I said, it's just got these two screws in it. You can use your star or your, or your flathead. Here, air filter off. Air filter, ah, it's got some grass in it. Look at that. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I'm putting a new one in anyway, so it doesn't matter. But uh, I picked up some new ones from the, you know, the Almighty Amazon. <clears throat> so now I'm going to have to pull this piece of plastic off. So what we're going to have to do... Uh, so, we're going to pull this screw out. We're going to pull this screw out. Mm, and we're going to pull this screw out. That looks like all it is, and this should pop right out. That'll give me access. Try to get my big fat sausage fingers back in there. So, where I showed you this screw, there's another screw right behind it. I P 
pinched it so hard with those pliers right there above my thumb. I don't know if that'll focus on that crack. That's the fuel line I just cracked. So anyway, I'm gonna get this off. I gotta just it's just gonna pop off. It's just on really tight. And then um, as you can see I got there's two two lines here. Put those lines back on, there's the clips, and then it'll clip back on, and then everything goes back together. However, this is, you know, that might have the wrong one. This looks pretty small. So what I need, so I may have to run back to the dealer to pick up a, uh, a different primer ball. I may have the wrong one. So anyway, I'm going to pull that off, and then we'll see what we're working with, right? So look at that guy. Can you guys tell how cracked that is? Jeez. But now I can see that uh, I definitely, I have the wrong one. I guess my black gloves kind of screwed that up, huh? You guys can see that big difference there. So I have to run down to the the dealer and pick me up a primer bulb for the BR600. <clears throat> Alright guys, we're back for part two. Who would have thought a part two to putting in a freaking primer bubble. But today's Monday, I got down and picked up the primer bubble from the uh, from my dealer. Good thing about, you know, on the, just a quick note about having dealers in your area for your equipment. The steel dealer, when I went to go get the, uh, the correct primer bulb I need, though buying something from a dealer is always more expensive. However, I paid 15 bucks for this, for this primer bulb for the 600. And then I also, I had lost my uh, spark arrestor for the BG86 this year. I just didn't screw it back in or whatever after cleaning it and lost it somewhere. Anyway, you know, I let him know that, hey, I need a spark arrestor, and they didn't have one in stock, so he just went and took one off of a piece of equipment they had out back and just gave it to me for free. So that's why it's always nice dealing with a dealer, you know, because they do hook you up from time to time. So anyway, let's get this uh, new bulb put on this guy. And I apologize for the angle in part one. I did not realize I was standing in front of the uh, camera most of the way. And uh, we'll try not to do that now. What the heck? Oh, that's the, that's the wrong one. All right, so let's try to get this back on here. show you this real fast so like I said just so you guys can see what's going on so I've got the hoses back on and you just have to wrestle with them a little bit I had to hold them with this with the little flat noses to uh, so I could get it the nipples slid up in the pipe or the hose so you can see my carb is off make sure you don't lose your gasket they shouldn't come off but uh, what I wanted to show you is if this happens to you while you're messing around with this thing, see how my make sure this is back in the slot before you uh, before you put it all back together, or you'll have no throttle. <laughs> so 
So anyway, I just wanted to point that out. Maybe it'll show better from this angle. While I've been dancing it around, this just came out. There's it's just a little key there. You just slide it back in there and you'll be fine. All right, guys. This let's, do, let's go through this real quick. <sighs> Tis the one I bought off of Amazon. This is the one the dealer gave me, which you can see. Big difference in size. Correct size. However, I just started putting this back together, and I pulled it right off the pipe. This one, I just took off of my other BR600. If you look on the nipples, these have a catch on the nipples. So I'm going to, this one's a used one. I'm going to go ahead and put it on my 600 because I've got some estimates coming in. And the 600 needs to go to work. So, <clears throat> and real quick, I want to show you this too. So... When I took all this apart, I mean to get this out of here, I took all of this apart. Now, this is my other 600 that is a project. You can tell it's an older 600 by the, uh, by the fuel cap. But uh, all I did to take this one off was I just popped it out with a screwdriver. You don't have to take all this off. I just, I guess I just want to because I like taking crap apart. So anyway, I'm going to put this guy back on here since it's got the flanges and it's going to hold it. And then I will figure out how to make that other one work. I will make the other one work in the backup 600. Also, if you notice, there's a little catch right here, or if you're looking at, boy, this is turning into quite the tutorial. Huh. So as you look at this, you notice there's that little tit. When you look here, this needs to go in like this, because you have to have this little notch go in to that notch right there or it's not going to set flush.
this is your spark arrestor. Actually, you can't tell. It actually doesn't look very bad. There's not a whole lot of carbon in this guy. Look at that. I don't know if you can tell the difference. Probably can't. But uh, all the carbon is just about gone. We gotta let that uh, let that guy cool off, though. Yeah. One thing you want to make sure if you're gonna clean the carbon off these screens with a uh, I took the screen all the way out there while it was cooling down. You can see how clean it is now. If you're gonna clean it off with a torch, definitely make sure you. Uh, Cool that, let that puppy cool down before you go grab it with your with your nose pickers. So I guess this is the moment of truth. All of that just for a little primer bubble and a little tune-up. Not even a tune-up, just a plug replace. So let's see. Let's see if she starts. BR600 primer bulb replacement, spark plug, air filter, cleaned off the spark arrestor. Uh, sounds like it's running pretty smooth. I don't have to, uh, doesn't look like it's needing any kind of a carb adjustment or anything. So there we go.
that one is repaired and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, we are in the place of the yeah, 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 yeah.